Hi everyone, it's day 110 of me teaching myself to code from home. I'm working through CS50 from Harvard University and you'll be pleased to know I can finally shut up about it. I finally finished the Tiedemann task from last week. It took me four days in total, finished it late on Friday night and it was a very good feeling. So if you've been watching my videos, you'll know this program was creating something to replicate the Tiedemann voting system, which is really quite complex. Um, and it was difficult, difficult doing all these functions. And then I got to the, um, the lock pairs function here and it was just like, this seems impossible for me at the moment. Um, I ended up coming across this gist on GitHub, which gave me a new way to look at things and really helped me out. And then, yeah, I was getting to the point where I was able to submit it. I was getting to the point where I could put in input and it was working. And then I submitted it and it was passing 17 out of 18 checks, but I wasn't passing the last check. And it, again, I went back to this page, let me find it. There was a comment from this guy who really illuminated something for me and gave me some, I basically just copied and pasted this in because this this part in particular was just a bit beyond me. It was kind of adding another if condition to, to the recursive function, which was already blowing my mind. Um, and yeah, and so if we run the checks, I'll show you it passes everything. This bit's always pretty nerve wracking when you're waiting for your results to come through. But there you can see all greens. And when I got that on Friday, I was just over the moon, to be honest. Because I did require a bit of help there towards the end, I'm not going to submit this one, but I don't need to because I've, I've submitted runoff anyway. So yeah, that means that now I can finally move on to week four of CS50. And if you want to see something like some more long form content, I've just uploaded a 10 minute video to my YouTube channel. The link's up at the top of this TikTok profile if you want to get there. And that's just um, what, I, what I feel I've learned from my first 100 days of coding. Maybe I'll do a few more longer, bit higher quality, quality videos. Um, but yeah, go over and take a look and let me know what you think.